Today we're going to look at something very important. That's going to be video. Why video? And why is that not the same as SEO? Even if SEO is involved, it's not. The standard traditional SEO, where you create content in form of articles, blogs, posts, and you create links to those, get social media to link to those and bring people to read your post. Which, have you ever seen that video? By uh, Jimmy Fallon, I think. Asking people, kind of man on the street kind of video. Can you name a book? Can you name a book? A book, any book? Um, the Jungle Book. It's not a book, is it? It's a movie. Jungle Book, sure. Is it? Both. Be sure? No. Does, does ma do magazines count? No, those wouldn't be books. That's correct. Uh, I can name uh, Moby Dick. That's an artist. He wrote a book called Horse. I like that book. Moby Dick was the author. Yes. And the book was Horse. Yes. That's what I say, huh? <laughs> what was the last book you read? Um, probably Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Dr. Seuss, maybe? <laughs> um, I haven't read a book for like 12 years. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. People can't even name a book. They outright don't read. They do watch video. And it's easy. It's easy to get to. It's easy to make. It's so easy. Anybody with an iPhone can do it. That's basically it. iPhone, Android, your phone takes video. It, often the newer ones have image stabilization. A little bit of thought. And you've got all you need to create the video you need to get your message across. But a lot of people don't do that. And they're not prepared to do that. And they don't want to be on camera. They don't want to be on the screen. Um, they still have a difficult time figuring out what to do with video. But it is easy to brand yourself, to have video, especially in real estate, that stands out from the rest of them, not just your listing. Not just a, here we are, real estate agency X. But you can actually create video that engages people. How do you do that? Well, you answer questions. You answer it just enough to get people connected to you. And then YouTube does the rest for you. Let's move from this slide. Why video text is boring. Everybody knows it unless you're in the top. Uh, less than 1% of great writers who people really want to read. And remember, some people just aren't going to read. You create that content. And yes, write for them by all means. But some people will not read, especially if you're trying to get new clients. You've got to find a way to reach out to them beyond just writing a thousand word article, putting it up on a blog post and hoping somebody sees it. Then hoping that you wrote well enough that now not only do they see your content, but they decide to take action because you properly motivated them, asked them to take action and wrote on a topic that they're really concerned about. We're getting pretty narrow here. And if you don't match your audience, people will just move on, especially in text. So you had pictures. And pictures are a little better, but they're still not always that clear. They don't always convey the story well. A picture may paint a thousand words, but it does not comprise a sales funnel to actually motivate people to come into your business and do business with you at the point where they're ready to spend money on what you're offering. Now let's talk about YouTube because they've got 1.3 billion users, 1.5 billion, I don't know. And the number changes every time you look it up. It's huge. It's big. It's bigger at a scale that you can't fathom. And a lot of that scale involves people in your market. Much of it. If you don't know what YouTube is, then you, you're an exception. People all around you are using YouTube all the time. Every day, in fact. And even more than they may be aware because YouTube's inserted into lots of websites at various points where there's a video and it's being hosted on YouTube. And... YouTube itself may be your best and easiest way to fast and highly relevant and targeted traffic. And you get repeat chances at YouTube. And Google is supposed to be the king of the internet with 3.5 billion searches or 1.6 billion or whatever it is per day. Per what? I don't know. It's huge. But here's one thing about Google. That even though it has more traffic, more people come to Google every day to look something up. Google's model insists that you move on. Go away from Google. In fact, if somebody chooses something in Google and then they go back to Google for another 
result because they didn't like the answer they got the first time, that website gets moved down in search results. So you have somebody looking at Google for a couple of seconds and choosing a result near the top a lot of the time or something that gets their attention. Once they leave Google, you're done. They've chosen something else. So, I mean, that's good if that's the best there is, but there's something better. YouTube. So Google is king. YouTube is first lady. I guess I'd be president. But YouTube is queen, it's first lady. It's also going to treat visitors differently than Google does because Google wants visitors to leave, actually. YouTube wants visitors to stay. So once you come into YouTube, they want you to stay and watch more videos. Their ad revenue model is different, so having people stay on YouTube is a good thing. So what happens when you go to YouTube and you look something up like the best speech ever and you have this number of results and let's say you pick this one that it has the red arrow and you decide to watch that. What happens to you when you choose that video? Well, once you're watching that video, if that author and that topic is on other videos, it's going to show up again and again and again. So here we have this Mel Robbins and she did this one of the best speeches ever and it's good i suggest looking it up how to motivate yourself when really you don't feel motivated so this this topic now and this person because they have produced a lot of content it shows up all along the right side for you to pick from once you've watched this video that's interesting so you get similar topics and similar content from the same author so you get a second round. And here she is again on somebody else's video, but similar topic. Now, here's where the impact comes on my own business. You can see that I've got a video here, Temecula SEO Expert Dave Keys, get new customers. Somebody decides to come and see that video. And what do we have to do right? We have a lot more of my videos as a result of playing one of them now Google will present the viewer with lots more of my videos just in case they'd like to see something more. So again, I have a second and third and fourth chance. Once somebody engages with me in YouTube, then the chances of their seeing me again goes up exponentially. That's the essence of the beauty of YouTube and marketing on YouTube. You answer questions, even minute ones. Maybe you get a couple of views, but you're answering specific questions. Those people are going to look for more. Some of them, anyway. The more you produce, the more your chances are of becoming a, a consumption point for visitors to come back to get your information. So start reaching your market with me. Visit my website, DaveKeys.com, to find out what I offer in video. Go click on the video section, uh, video marketing, in that website. Um, and we can talk about what I offer here. But that's the end of this presentation. Thank you for watching this Dave Keys. Signing off. <music>